All right. Thanks so much, Eric. The country's future teachers take a big step towards achieving their dreams tonight. UNCW's education majors crossing the stage at graduation in just a few minutes. WECT's Connor Delpreet joins us now from Trask Coliseum. Connor, how many students are walking tonight? Fran, 238 future teachers taking that final step towards becoming the educators they aspire to be. We are outside Trask Coliseum as the graduates file into their seats in Trask Coliseum. They're going to have to wait a little bit longer, though, about an hour until they actually walk across the graduation stage. There are some commencement speakers that are going to give them some words of wisdom, impart some words of wisdom as they celebrate this huge day. Parents from all over the country traveling to see their kids take this big walk. And this is one of two graduates graduations today. The School of Business wrapped up their graduation around 3 o'clock today. It started at 2 p.m. and we caught up with some of those now graduates this afternoon and they tell us those years and hours in the library were well worth it for this big day. I'm so excited. It's finally here and I'm graduating and I'm done and I'm so proud of everything I've been able to do. I cannot believe we're here honestly. I'm so excited to to move on from UNCW. It was, it was a great four years. I had an amazing time here. Um, I'm moving to Boston afterwards so you know I'm ready to hit the ground running honestly. And tonight at 6, some of these future teachers will be staying in state to continue their career and they will be entering a workforce that certainly has quite the controversy right now. Teachers rallying for higher pay, better work conditions. And tonight at 6, we'll break down exactly the conditions these future teachers will be heading into and tell you how the state is trying to raise pay. That all tonight at 6. But for now, reporting from outside Trask Coliseum, I'm Connor Delpreet. Fran, back to you. Years of hard work and dedication pay off. Yeah, your children's future educators are taking a final step toward achieving their goal. WECT's Connor Del Preet is at Trask Coliseum where the education majors are crossing the stage tonight. Some of them uh, going into a workforce that's, uh, let's face it, in North Carolina tied up in some controversy, Connor. Yeah, John, 238 future edu educators graduating from the Watson School of Education this evening. And like you said, if they stay in the state, they will be starting their career in a workforce in, a, in, a, in conditions that have been ranked towards the bottom of the barrel in terms of average teacher pay. Uh, but educators, legislators are telling me that things are looking up for teachers in this state. But again, starting out in some, one of the lower average teacher pay uh, uh, states in this country now North Carolina ranking 41st among the states according to a 2016 report for teacher pay that's according to the National Nash National Education Association state legislators working to raise the salary keep these graduates in state that's one of the problems they've been having in years past a spokesperson for Speaker of the House Tim Moore telling me the average first year teacher will get paid around 35 grand that's up 13 percent from the average salary from when these soon-to-be graduates were actually looking at UNCW back in 2013 not the only graduation at Trask Coliseum today, though. The business school also graduating at first today at around 2 p.m. We caught up with some of these students before or during one of the biggest days of their life. Here they had to say. It's really special because, yeah, it's it's hard work, but it's it's worth it. It's it's a great experience. But I'd never been to North Carolina before I moved here, so discovered the area, discovered you know what I wanted to major in, and I, I think this was the best four years of my life. And we'll have reaction from a graduate that's staying right here in New Hanover County, plus the status of a program that's supposed to help keep some of these teachers in Brunswick County. It could be up in the air. That again tonight on WECT News at 11. For now, reporting from Trask Coliseum, I'm Connor Delpreet. Back to you.